This time I'm going to try to figure out how I will do the masthead. I need a fastening point for the halyard. In my first experiment I start with a sheet of stainless steel. I mark out a profile which I think will fit. Cut out the profile from a piece of plywood. I also cut out a piece of glass fiber. I laminate the three layers together with epoxy. And let it cure overnight. When inspecting the construction the day after, I realized that this seems to be a quite stupid idea. It's going to be quite ugly and quite heavy as well. Then I continue with the second idea. My plan here is to use a single piece of stainless steel and uh, have that as both attachment for the halyard and also for the stays. I cut out a piece of the stainless steel and round the corners. The fastening for the stays uh, need to be 11 centimeters from the back end of the mast in order to be aligned with the tang further down. Before I start turning the mast into Swiss cheese, uh, I want to be really sure where to cut. I use masking tape to make a pattern where to cut. This has the advantage that it's possible to move it around until I'm totally happy. Widen the holes first with uh, a multi cutter and then by drilling. Clear out the sawdust from the holes using a rasp. At last, time to try out the uh, holes if they fit the stainless steel pieces.
prevent the epoxy from pouring out on the other side, I mask the holes carefully. Now I can uh, fill the holes with uh, thickened epoxy to make a really tough and hard fastening of the stainless steel pieces. to redo the process a second time as uh, it seems like a lot of epoxy was sucked up into the wood or else there was perhaps a little hole into the middle of the mast. Uh, anyhow after the second uh, portion of the epoxy it seems quite all right. When I fasten a nut for the block and try it out, I realize that I made a serious mistake. The block is too close to the mast for the halyard to pass in between. And I need to move it out a little bit. By uh, thinking about the alternatives, I still can continue with drilling the hole for the stays. In order to be careful with the drills, I first use a small uh, dimension drill to make a pre-hole, which I later widen using bigger and bigger drills. While covering up some hole, I uh, get uh, another idea how I'm going to make the fastening for the halyard. Again I measure out how much stainless steel to use. construction and as it seems to be possible to make this work I cut out the rest of the pieces I need. In one of the ends I drill the holes I need from the beginning. I use a smaller dimension drill first and widen the hole with a bigger dimension later. Now 
to the holes I need in the piece that I have already glued to the mask. Now to the last set of holes. This needs to be lined up, so I drill them in place. putting everything together I think uh, I made a rather good construction it wasn't so pretty and simple as I uh, first thought it was going to be but still I think it will do its job <laughs> 